All right, so we're back with more of the best 70s music you'll ever hear. It's Disassembly 3D, over to the F1 car. Some people have said that, Gray, if you thought that the train is going to make you sad, you should try the F1 car. Why? Why do you want me? Oh, there's a there's a starting line. I didn't know that. Why do you want me to become a masochist? Oh, what the? Hold on. <laughs> I screwed that one up. <laughs> what are we moving in slow motion? That, oh, oh, okay. All right. Yep. It has the you know the the hydraulics on the front of the cars where it does the bouncy thing while the while the the bebop music is playing. I feel like that's what's happening here. All right. We're gonna. Good lord. We're gonna move this all the way back. All the way. Right, right there. All right, you boys ready? F1 Racer versus JPEG Wall, go. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Okay, that time we got some bounce. I still, it almost still feels like the F1, hold on, I gotta depossess this thing real quick. I've gotta get the Ouija board up in here. Miss Cleo needs to get, all right, it's not working. I cannot depossess the racer. How would I take that off? You're not even supposed to be able to take that off. All right, we're, hold on. All right, new plan. We are not going to crash the F1 because crashing the F1 means that all of the spawn of Cthulhu gets to come down into the earth and begin to corrupt all of mankind. Let's just take this thing apart the old fashioned way. We're by ripping it apart with our bare hands. There we go. No, oh, I can't get it out. Never mind. I totally. Oh my god, all these fins are their own separate parts. Why? Oh. Only another 214 parts to go. I'm gonna tell you, I don't know a lot about F1 racing. It seems like they put a lot of effort into the front here. I feel like this is probably fairly important to the survival of the driver and the performance of the vehicle. Let's say you're out at the club and a Formula One car is looking at you sideways. You grab it by the nose and you rip that crap right off. Oh, it came off really smoothly. I was expecting a little bit more of a fight. What you got up inside your banana, boy? Mm-hmm. That sounds terrible now that I think about it. All right, listen, all right. It looks like a banana. It looks like the tip of a banana, you know it does. Like here's the the banana lines right here and here's the banana tip and this is the inside chunklets of the banana where all the secret treasures are. I don't know what this is, but we don't need it. We don't need its friend either. Okay, pit crew. Yep, just ripped a whole friggin' tire off. No big deal, not like we had to remove it piece by piece or anything. You come off, you, oh. Oh, you know what? I have to, I know why this isn't coming off. Hold on, BS tires. Really? What the hell did I just use to take that off? What sort of plasma-like tool was that? Oh God, there's so many pieces. 219 or whatever actually, but more than, whoa. Okay, I thought I had sent one of the pieces into the nether realm, but apparently I just made it rocket into space. Okay, these all look clean now. Now to the actual tire. So does the rim come off or is this gonna be a pain in my ass? It's gonna be, Never mind. it's not a pain at all. It came out pretty smoothly. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take your boomerangs here and you wanna go ahead and rip those off with both hands. You don't wanna just use one hand for your formula boomerang. All right, you boys ready to use the Hercules tool? Here we go. Good God! It sounds like the blast doors of the Millennium Falcon opening. I meant to go pull the... Jesus! Why? Stop! Hold on. Just go out of the tire already. Why do you want to be a part of this whole thing? All right, I got bad news. There, we got some jacked up stuff happening inside the tire here. Can I... There. No, come off. Just let go. Okay. I think I finally got rid of all the crap that was kind of hidden inside of this thing. Anything else want to give me any problems? Everyone feeling okay now? Y'all happy? You entitled frickin' pieces of tireific crap? Yeah. Oh. Hey! See, the boomerang always comes back. Okay. All right. Yep. Stop spazzing out. There we go. The wild boomerang has been domesticated. There is a lot of Satan in this car. I'm going to tell you right now, like, if there was a, like, a like a like a geiger counter for satan it would be really going off right now all right got to yank on all the hoses here like this there's quite a few we're down to 175 parts i don't 
I don't feel awful. There's 10 bonus parts, but I have an idea. I noticed due to, you know, despite my, my annoyance that all of these lights, <laughs> That all of these lights highlighted. I didn't think that they would be their own entities, but they are absolutely their own entities. Bonus points for days. Yes. No one's going through the finish line now because there is no finish line. I'm starting to get kind of scared because a lot of these are coming out as singular parts. And when you're dealing with 160 pieces, that can make a man very sad. Is this a separate piece? Are you freaking kidding me? Any other little hidden... That kind of looks like uh, the old style tanks. Like right here is the tank tread. That right there. You aren't hiring anything else, are you? Is there like a little middle piece that slides off you that wants to drive me completely insane? You, everyone that's watching this knows exactly what's going to happen. We're going to get down to one part and then I'm going to slowly lose my freaking mind as I try and find out where it is. And God forbid you crash these things because sometimes when you crash stuff, the parts go into the nether realm and they're never heard from again and you're sitting there like, where's the last part? Slowly going insane but you'll never find it mm -mm. you'll never find the last part because it don't exist no more is there a reason why you don't want to come off you can clearly see that this piece is separate from this piece but i can't grab it and it's starting to blow my mind down to 131 and honestly i don't really feel like i'm any closer wow that's a big piece. I didn't think that would all come off in one shot. Is this legitimately one piece or is this? No, it's not. I was going to say, or is it hiding something? It's absolutely hiding something. Oh yeah, this looks hot. There's a lot of pieces on it too. A lot of friggin' pieces. We're down to a clean 100 so far. So like we're getting there. There's just, we're a little bit past halfway and there's a lot of singular parts on this thing. There's a lot of random panels sitting on the ground over here. A lot of random panels. Kind of freaking me out. Not really sure if a lot of them are completely disassembled or they're just hanging. Look at this exhaust. That's hot. Oh, there is all kinds of exhaust pieces here. Look at all this crap. Down to 73. That ain't too bad. Okay. I'm assuming all each one of these. Nice. Oh, this is going to be tons of the pieces right here. Oh, crap. We're almost down to 50. I didn't think it would be quite this impressive taking apart the engine, but man, it is. Gonna need your little tubey chunklets here. You're not, you, you won't be needing them where you're going. Oh, there's some Satanism going on right now. We're bringing this over here. I've had a, the, the pile of crap that is under this thing is getting really big and it's starting to become very difficult to, what is this? It's still trying to run away. There's nothing like, it, it can't even generate any power and it's trying to continue to race. What a, what a Titan. Oh, game, you dirty, look at this. Eat seatbelt. Really? All right, we're inside the engine area. There's a couple more. Yeah, right over here. See this? That's got to go. First, it has to flip out all insane like. That's getting out of here. Oh, we got the final bonus one, the F1 car. Sweet, but we don't have our bomb yet. All the tubi goo. All the tubi goo is coming with us. This engine's getting wrecked, man. I think we're finally getting somewhere. Oh, yeah, all these have to get pulled out. All of them. Look, that's going to be at least... What, like six more? We're so close. We're at 11 pieces. There's a couple of panels inside. I don't know if these are separate. Like, this isn't part of this. This is hanging out over there. Oh, we're slowly getting there. Down to friggin' eight. Really? Now that piece wants to come off? We're down to... Oh, God, there's still seven left. Oh, my God. I had to just do it freaking alone off camera not recording again because otherwise this would be like four hours long so it's finally done i finally unlocked the bomb and thus we get to bring to ourselves great happiness and joy as i go ahead and throw this directly into the pass the uh, the passengers in a formula one car the driver's seat right where it belongs after ruining my freaking life now before you do this you know as well as i do that you've got to get your Formula One car moving very swiftly, and then you bomb it in disassembly 3D. Don't don't do that in real life, kids. All right, gentlemen, start your engines. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, rev it up. Oh, the bomb went flying. I'm not gonna be able to blow it up with the bombs way back there. Crap. All right, new plan. Formula One car is gonna run over the bomb. Here we go. That right there is what you need all day. 
Look at- Wow, it didn't get 100% of the parts! I can't believe it! That's incredible! To be fair, some of the parts that were missing were like these little tiny cylinders that were hidden inside of the housing that made me want to eat a frisbee. You gotta fold it in half first though. You gotta wash it off, fold it in half, grease it up with butter, and then try and put it down your mouth! Actually, come to think of it. No, that's the correct order. You should definitely grease it up with butter last. This isn't good enough. There's freaking 14 pieces left. Come here, bomb. Finish the job! Little boy? What the hell is little boy? Whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. I just wanted to see stuff get blown away. This is interesting. We, I guess it probably because like I've exploded, I've exploded too many bombs. All right, come here. You know what time it is. Perfect. Right there. That should get it going real good. Yes. Beat the piping up. Destructicate it. Oh, the piping really wasn't destroyed that much at all. Where is this last part at? Like, how is this a thing? Hit it again. Boom. Nope. Still didn't do it. All right, we're blowing it to the left now. Fire. Still nothing. You could bomb this area for like 10 minutes and not know what the hell you missed. All right, last one for science. I'll try and get it with just bombs. Nope. Still didn't do it. I thought maybe it was something over in this location. Let's take apart something that drives people a little less insane. Here we go. A DVD player. It has 69 parts. Her, her. First thing you gotta do with your six. Oh, hold on, hold on, before we turn it off. We gotta turn it on. What do we have inside? Oh. Okay. Wow. That was a legit sounding DVD. What sort of like Final Fantasy level Advent Children circa 1999 stuff do we have in here? Stop. Eject. Look at this gangsterific stuff. This is what people used to, uh, like put pirated copies of Windows on and stuff. Hold on. Let's go ahead and put that. Can you scratch this up? Is this something that you can break, I wonder? Let's go ahead and toss it to the sky. Nope, it's fine. All right. We got a lot of screws to undo. And by a lot, I mean four. But this should be able- this should allow us to take the shroud off. Perfect. Mother of God. It's a freaking screw-a-thon in here. Look at it all. Everywhere I go. I gotta take my electric screwdriver and unscrew the living crap out of everything around me. It's the only way to eventually get the sweet achievement that awaits us. I'm really hoping that this is easier than the Formula One car because the Formula One car was driving me slowly insane. Like I just want one, just one time where I click on stuff and everything just pulls right out. There's nothing weird or hidden inside of sad, broken dreams of other developers. A lot of wires here. Doesn't make me happy because wires can cause horrifying things to happen. Next thing you know, you're pulling a wire out in this game and your, your DVD player is dancing a jig all over the beautiful wood floor. I wonder if this is tile or laminate. It, or tile. I guess real wood or laminate. Look at this. Lies. Oh, there's still more screws. Don't you worry. They're hidden in all the various crevices and recesses of this thing. I'm gonna be down to 30 by the time I get rid of all these freaking spoon licking screws. I think we're all done with the screws for right now. Yeah, the front panel can come off. A lot of knobs and stuff on the front panel though. Look at these knobs. An unsuspecting disassembly 3D person could have potentially been caught off guard with these. If I can get this out. There we go. All right. This thing looks like it has all kinds of delicious treats on it. Hold on, let's uh, levitate it over here. 26 parts. Now this by itself should bring this down to like 10 or something. Cause look at all these, all this right here. Ah, oh, that was one part. That made me sad. I was hoping that was a bunch of parts. All right, brought it down to 21. That's still not bad. I think that there may be screws underneath this. Is that what that is right there? Kind of looks like it. Can I get at these? Or are these JPEG screws? Those are JPEG screws. Right. Oh, there's some. Never mind. Woo! Woo! 14 pieces. Please, God. 
Let these pieces be the last 14. All right, good news, guys. We got four screws over here. That brings us down to nine like it's no big deal. Okay. Seven. I think it's going smoothly. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, God. Six. Come on. Five. We're going to do it. I'm going to be able to do it all in one chunk. What is this? Why doesn't this come off? What is holding this on? Ah, it's this. All right. Slide the little tube out. Lift this thing up. Three, two, one. No. What's the last piece? Oh, right here. Yes! That's how you do it. DVD player, baby. All right, let's go ahead and put this in here. Press play. And then say to the victor, go the spoils. Right there. Zero parts left. DVD player can't handle it. Somehow that, that DVD is still in one piece. I'm not really sure how, uh, but whatever. The rest of the DVD player is glitching out in a most inhuman way. Oh, I got the disassembly. Long toss, that is way too far. All right, with less oomph there. Oh, that's a good high one too, look at that. But, eh, did it still count? Yes. This is what it's like to be inside of a DVD player as the entire world within it ends. A tiny piece of cosmos. Shucking and jiving and really that wasn't that much explosion. It just, it turned to zero and nothing really happened. Huh. You know what? We never do this. Ready? And drop it. Now! That right there, how do you get any better? It caught it right in the corner, and now it's gonna blow it back up in the air. It went to go drop back down and like a basketball. We made this sucker bounce. Anyway, folks, that's gonna be it for this episode of Disassembly 3D. Does anyone in here actually still own a DVD player? It's all Blu-rays now, because I have a Blu-ray. And even before the Blu-ray, I used to play stuff on the Xbox 360. You gotta let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.